Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox. And if you're new, welcome. Today I am going to walk you through um, creating some really nice waxed seals with my latest products from Craspire. So I really have enjoyed um, doing wax seals over the years. Maybe this was the wrong way to do it. Oh no, you just put it over like this. Um, and in previous times I had a set of products that were um, like just wooden and stuff, but I really like pink. So I thought what a nice idea to create a set of products in colors that I love and to create these stamped images in those same colors and I guess this is for stirring um it's really like a relaxing sort of process and to be able to use products that are pretty and pink and create that same sort of relaxing feeling to work with um, was really fun. So when Chris Buyer reached out to me and said, are you interested in partnering with us again to collaborate, um, picking some products from our website, I definitely was interested. So this is an adorable stamp. If you watched my unboxing, you will have seen uh, all of these products that I chose from them. But this was the latest stamp. And the nice thing about these stamps is that they can come off the handle. And I have other ones that I've received from them in the past. And you can interchange them. This is another really nice stamp for me because it says happy mail and it's a, a really cute theme because I do a lot of happy mail and I'm actually working on a project right now for um, secret cupid swap and all the colors are pink and red and love themed so I certainly could use any number of the previous sets of stamps that I have because these are all just birds and animals, owls, cats, trees, really fun sort of environment. So I'm doing this real time with you so you can see exactly how long it takes to melt. And uh, oh, one thing I should have done if I was going to be using different colors is I've discovered I should always have on hand a paper towel and um, so let's see what this is actually, when I am stirring this together, it's actually just creating another color instead of leaving all of the colors sort of swirling and separate. So I think I probably shouldn't have done it that way. So like... Well, we'll try it this way because it's all just an experiment. Um, let's get this out here. Put that on there. I have other handles, like I was telling you, that are wood with other stamps as well. So I can use a variety of, of items, but basically I like to just pour them on here and then put the stamp in place. I can do a second one here since I have melted wax and then just use, let's do this owl one, yeah, that there. I am going to go get a paper towel though, because it's definitely handy. So it's really good to be able to um, wipe away anything that drips on the bottom so it doesn't create um, a problem in your little furnace here. Let's try just the pinks together this time and see how those melt together. Mm 
let's do a combination like that we still got some of this i could have wiped that color out but i didn't think that it was necessary let's see if these ones have dried i have that's nice and so you could see what they look like here so let's go ahead <clears throat> and not mix this and let's see what it looks like to just pour uh -huh. well that's looking neat let's try a different design that's fun Wipe that away. Just back on the furnace. So that's pretty. I like those colors. A lot. I guess I could do one of these. And that's interesting. I also have this really pretty kit from Crayspire from a previous time. And I have these as well. So I have lots of different colored beads. So these should be done. Oh, now those are very pretty. And I wonder if we can get this white to show up better. I really like the colors going on here. It doesn't show up very well. And the white on these colors be better off for a dark. Let's try something with this silver. Very pretty. So I'd like to make, I really like this. Those colors are much better. I prefer that quite a bit to those. But it's fun to have some seals like already made. So thank you for watching. If you're interested in any of these products, I will have a link down below in my next video. Instead of stamping on the marble disc i'm actually going to go straight onto paper so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that notification bell as well so that you're notified of my next video thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time